Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to uh, to convert your crosscut saw into a rip pattern. So um, the first step is removing your old the old teeth on the previous saw. So just take a mill file and push across the edge. Keep your file perfectly 90 degrees. Well, perfectly. It doesn't need to be extremely precise, but you want to keep it as level as you can. So once you've got rid of all the teeth, um, here's a step that you got to make sure you got to make sure that this is nice and flat. You can you can also have a slight bow, so kind of this shape, that's fine along the length, but you don't want it the opposite you don't want to cup so you don't want the ends to be high if the ends are high we'll file them off till it's flat okay so I'll show you how to file the teeth and um, the first step is um, getting your spacing right so what you do is you go to the end of your 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 saw so imagine these teeth aren't here right what you do is you get a small file and put it towards the end right at the tip of your saw and what you do is you tilt you tilt your file just like that what you do is you push you push forwards you don't need to do it much maybe two three times and it'll give you a small nick and what that'll do is It'll give you a place to put your big saw in. And we're going to be doing this. We're going to be using this file as a reference for your distancing. Okay? So what you do is you take your big file. You see how I'm at 90 degrees here on this face? Well, let's tilt it at about 45 for the first couple strokes at least. And now I can tilt up slightly. want to get a consistent angle and depth. Now I don't know if you notice but I'm only pushing forwards. I don't pull back so you don't want to drag your file like that. You just want to push forwards. Always forwards. Now I'm keeping my file straight uh, 90 degrees so this is a 90 degree angle here. Okay you don't want it tilted like this or like this. Now I was like, as I was explaining earlier, you want this face not to be perfectly 90 degrees. You want it to tilt slightly. What that does is it gives you a rake angle. So this this um, tooth edge right here is actually I don't know if you can see it. It's not it's not perfectly 90 degrees, but to the saw it's actually tilting forwards a bit. And that'll give you a, a, a more aggressive cutting saw. So to get the spacing again, I go to the tip of the previous tooth and just create a small nick. And then I repeat the whole process again. Put the big file in, start at about 45 degrees, push forwards. And keep going till the the whole saw is done it's gonna take a while 
And after that, I'll be showing you how to put some set on your saw in the next video, because I'll be doing two videos. Alright, so get to work. Have fun.